Hello everybody, this is Granny. Today I'm taking you to Ording, Washington. Ording's a significant place for me because this is where my husband and I bought our first home after we got married. And we never got tired of our beautiful view. Well, that's the view when you go into Ording on a nice summer day. Last week we weren't that lucky. We're driving in today on the new bridge, the one off to the right, the iron one was the one we used when we lived here. This sign is telling the residents about a lahar drill that they're going to be having. They have these drills the first Monday of every month here. I was looking for the sign on the corner that was here when we lived in this town. The sign wasn't there, but a nice gentleman on Facebook shared one with me. Now I'm going to confuse you a little and come into town from the other direction. We're coming down Cemetery Hill, and we're going to stop at the Soldier's Home Cemetery. Now you'll notice that this post says uh, 1937, and that's because this is not the original location of the cemetery. 1937 was the year that the city bought the cemetery and took over the care and maintenance. The monument in the center says 1909, the graves were actually moved a few years before that. And as you'll see, some of them have been here for a very long time. This gentleman, Abraham, was especially interesting to me. The regiment he was a part of fought in both the first battle of Bull Run and Gettysburg during the Civil War. Frank was in the Spanish-American War and George was in World War I. And Russell fought in three different wars, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. There are over 2,000 men and women buried in this cemetery. What stories they must have been able to tell. As we continue down the hill, uh, we'll be stopping next at the soldier's home. My husband and I both worked there for a short time. I worked in the daycare center, and my husband was a pipe fitter. He worked at the steam plant. As we leave the soldier's home, we head on down to the Calistoga Bridge. The bridge crosses the Puyallup River, and I'll take you down there so you can have a look. There's a nice path on top of the levee, and it makes it a popular place to walk your dog. The river looks really nice and peaceful today, but it's not always that way. The new improved levee was completed on July of uh, 2014, and I took these pictures in November. The new levee worked like a charm and saved the town from being flooded that year. An added bonus is that it helped the salmon run. Here's a shot of the Main Street, Washington Street. It's getting close to lunchtime, so we're looking for a place to eat. We stopped at Tim's Kitchen, which used to be called the Spar Pole, and we're in for a really good treat. The sandwiches were great, and our waitress Hannah was very friendly. And we were entertained by the train. At the end of the street is Nunley's real estate office, and on the side of their office is the mural. This is one of several uh, murals in town, and if you're interested in a tour, they have maps at the library. The street painting you see here was left over from the Daffodil Parade. The Daffodil Festival celebrates all the farmers that grew bulbs here in the valley. Across the street is the city park. Along with some local events, there's some really interesting historical facts on this board. Pause the video if you'd like to read this one. If you're not from around here, you may not realize that along with being beautiful, Mount Rainier is an active volcano. So it's important to know what to do in case of an emergency. Sirens have been installed and the evacuation routes are clearly marked. But for today, we're just going to enjoy our day in Ording. 
This mural is my favorite. It describes Ording in the early 1900s when three transcontinental trains stopped here daily. More than likely, full of hopeful miners on their way to the Alaska Gold Rush. Across the street is BJ's Outdoor Store. At one time, this building was the Ording Food Center and the only grocery in town. At the other end of the park is the Odd Fellows Hall. Built in 1904, is now home to the Eagles. And here's the police headquarters and the fire station. And next to them is a very old structure that was recently uh, restored and a mural added. This is the old sawdust burner from the days when the old Stevenson Lumber Company ran a mill here. Oh, look at the nice old pickup. As we head out of town, we go past the school. When we moved to Ording in 1988, the population was about 1,700. With the addition of several new housing developments, the population is now uh, well over 8,000. That's meant a huge explosion in the number of school children. Concern over this large number of children has prompted the city for the last 20 years to start implementing a plan to build a bridge up to the higher plateau above the valley in case of a lahar. The first phase of this plan includes a pedestrian bridge over Highway 162. In the meantime, the city is trying to educate all the citizens about what to do and where to go. Everything taken into consideration, Ording's still a beautiful place to live. Our last stop will be at the Foothills Trail Trailhead here in Ording. And I'll end with the view from my house in Ording. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.